Okay, guys. Uh, as I was doing in the in the, in the class today, I had uh, I had this pose right here. You can see. Hopefully, this opens up. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to pose uh, the ultimate bony rig in this contrapposto style, which I call the runway model pose right here. Uh, you know, the action right here. Runway model. Okay. So what I do, I'm just going to open uh, the, the previous scene. I cleared this all out. So I'm just going to go to demo right now. Done. Save. And that's my goal. Okay. So you need to have your reference in there at all times. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to Maya Classic. Okay. And I'm going to go to panels quickly. Panels. And sorry, layouts, three panes, stack, split top right here. Three panes, split top. And what I want to do is basically uh, I want this one to be my perspective view. I want this one to be orthographic. And we're going to pretend this is our camera, okay? So orthographic, I'm going to uh, work here. So it says front. And I'm going to come down here where it says panels, panel, and then graph editor. Second thing is I'm going to actually just reduce, I'm going to leave it here. Last thing I'm going to do is what I did, which I haven't shown to you guys here. Normally what I want to do is hide the NURB curves here because this is ultimately going to be my, my camera view. We're pretending this is the camera. That's the shot I'm going to take. So what I will do is I'll go hide nerve curves. And then what I want to do is save this layout, OK? So we're just going to go right click here. And I did this one, OK? Save current layout, anim3 demo. I'm going to call this anim. This means three panels, OK? And I'm going to go demo. So there's a second one, OK? The cool thing is if I run into, let's go modeling standard, I don't know what's going on, or sometimes you'll go to animation or rigging, and then you know this all changes. If you're if you're lost, I would stay in my classic, and then all you do is you come back down here or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just right click here and you will get this right here. Okay, cool. Next thing, uh, I can actually bring my picture in. You guys know how to do that, okay? And I could do that, but for now, I'm just gonna have it open like this, and I don't really need this uh, the channel box right now. Okay, what I'll do is I'll lower the graph editor for now. First thing first, uh, right here, bye bye to that. And really, all of this, it's all review here. Hope this is not going to take too long. It's already two and a half minutes, okay? So what I'm going to do is select all these controls, and I'm going to hit S, okay? And what I'll do right now is I'm just going to click out, and I'm just going to actually, yeah, I'm going to delete these poses that I made earlier, okay, in class today. So delete. All right, first thing first, I select all these guys, press S, right? Then every 10 frames uh, in the past, I've said five, doesn't matter. D, sorry, S, okay, a 20 S and 30 S and then 40. I'll stop here. I've got every, so I'm going to have two poses in here. So I want it to start like this and at frame 20, uh, at frame 10, that's all we're going to work on right now. Okay, really fast. Here's my camera. I'm looking here. And the first thing I'm going to do is relax this character. And it starts from here. So I'll show you how channel box open. Okay, so this is the root, right? Press W. So just relax the guy down a bit, just a bit. Okay, so I'm in perspective view. Next thing, uh, I usually, uh, I'm, I, you know, one of the first things, I will do that. But what I'll do now after relaxing, I'm just going to spread the, uh, the feet a bit. Okay, so this is this way, just so you see what's going on here. Okay, and out, just so you'll see why. Okay, he's got his legs wide open, okay, like that. And then let's just do this part here, contraposto starting, okay? And I'm watching here. So what I could do is I could select over here and just work there without the controllers. Okay, I'm in frame 10, I'm good. I'm gonna just set up my file right now. I'm gonna go up in my, okay, I'm, you know what? You guys know how to do that, forget it. Okay, so first thing, you can see this nice curve here, okay? And you see that uh, the weight's on this side here. If you go straight up that way, the head should be right in the middle here. Okay, so first thing first, E, okay? So let's see what this does, all right? So we start with the hip and work our way up, all right? So this is kind of crazy. You're looking at this going, whoa, that's weird. No problem. So watch what I'm going to do the next thing. I'm going to select these controllers right here. And the method I want you to do is not um, select the W key. This is why, watch uh, boom, and I'm going to rotate this, right? Oops, look at this. I'm trying to like find these keys, right? So what you do is you press Q, which is just select, okay? And there it is. Now come over here, E, and maybe I'll just do this. Look at that, okay? Isn't that interesting? All right, so you can see that this hip is even pushed even more, right? 
So let's spin around, and here's my hip control right here, and I'm just going to go here. Look at that. There's that nice curve, right? Okay. All right, that's happening. Uh, I'm going to go just, I'm going to crank this a little faster here right now, okay? And at this point, don't need that. Okay, so um, there it is. And uh, just so you know, you can't bend the elbow down. Physically, that's not what we do. So the rigor stop, stops us from doing it. Look, see? You can't rotate it there. However, it's uh, forward kinematic. So what I'm going to do is just, oops, sorry. Let me just click in here. There you go. That's, that's the shoulder right there. Okay, so see there? I can rotate the arm like that. Okay, so there you can see now. And you can see there's a, there's a subtle rotation there, right? So I'll just spin around, and now I can come in on the Y and just bring that up. And you're looking at this going, not even close, dude. Okay, no problem. All right, so let's just and just come down here. And I'm not going to bring the, the wrist to the leg cause, uh, on the hip here because the, um, the silhouette doesn't look that good. So we're going to improve this shot a touch, okay? So look there, I'm turning, rotating, so there's a bit more rotation here and then a little more there. And normally what I'll do is I won't, I won't, you know, I'm just right now, I am just rotating on one axis, but eventually what you do, you'll get into the habit of not doing that. You'll just go middle scroll here and you'll move whatever uh, you want within the shot. So I'm looking there, it's looking good. Here's the advantage of using Q again. Ready? Q, boom. So watch, shift, shift these guys, done. Shift these guys, done. Now I'm gonna press E. I'm gonna spin around and look over here, and I'm gonna middle scroll there, and you're gonna see something like this, right? This is obviously not the same pose, right? Okay, the other thing we do in animation or in character design is what we'll do is um, we want, we don't want the fingers to be symmetrical. So what we'll do is we'll take these guys here, I'll just zoom in there, I'll press Q, hit the first one, shift, boom, boom, and then press E. Right there, and look, there's that little touch there. And then I'm gonna work on the thumb really quickly here. Uh, sorry guys, and I'm gonna press Q first, so shift the next two. Done, E, watch this. From the middle, come down a bit, okay? So let's pretend this is okay. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of uh, inverse kinematics, but since you guys are starting, so this is looking okay somewhat. I'll come back to it, I'll just move on now, okay? Let's get this guy here. Um, as well, uh, let's look at the head. I think I'm going to leave the head at head orientation like this. So meaning <clears throat> if I rotate uh, the shoulder, this is going with it. So let's see what that does, okay? Um, if I change this to zero right there. Now, if I rotate this part here, uh, I'm not seeing much of a, let's see, our ultimate goal is like this. So I'm just going to leave it, let's leave it at one for now until otherwise, okay? One. And then what I'll do right now is I'm just going to rotate it a touch, looking over here, and then tilt a bit more, something like that, right? Okay, so there. Okay, and let's just go with this arm at this point, okay? Q again. Sorry, E. Anytime you select any of these controllers, look up here. It gives you the limitations, all right? Uh, so there. Shoulder. Come over here. Boom. Eventually you'll have this, you'll, you, you, what, what I'll do is I'll make this controller really big and you'll start cranking out like this with middle scroll, but you're not there yet, okay? So don't worry about it, I just press minus, plus, plus, like that. Okay, so what's happening here? Let's rotate them a bit this way here, and then and it's rotated a bit more that way. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll just, we'll just come over here and we'll just bend the elbow first just to see how much, just, just subtle, right? Okay, and then we got the, and then I'm always looking, I'm working in here even though I'm selecting there. It's kind of a weird approach, but just this is something that works well for me, okay? So they're not symmetrical, remember that, okay? That's one of the things in animation, you don't want things to look symmetrical. Uh, so I'm going to come in here right now, hold Q, and just go like that, okay? And I'm going to shift select up here, E, and then boom, on the blue axis right there, okay? So that, that's just going a little too much. Maybe I'll counter it with the wrist, like that. And, and then we'll just rotate the wrist just a touch, maybe in, who knows, okay? So next thing, let me come in here and I'm going to select here, Q, 
Q again. Shift. One, two. E for rotate. Let's go. Bring it down. Okay, that looks okay. So what I'm going to do is offset here, basically. So what I'll do is just move this guy. I could have selected all three. So I'm doing it the, the long way right now, just so you can see. Okay, so I'm trying to give a difference here. So okay, so I'll just come out and I should have done it with Q. Okay, so there's a bit of that. And then you'll look, I'm looking here, looking at that. Maybe we'll do this one touch. Okay. Okay, this is good. Okay, for now that's okay. So this, I, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm really rushing here. This is already 10 minutes, okay? Uh, eventually without talking, you should be able to do this in five to six minutes, sometimes 10. Starting in class now, I expect you guys to do a pose in 20 to 30 minutes, okay? And this will only happen if you practice over and over, okay? And I always say when you start a new rig, just play on every controller, get used to it. Don't try posing first because you don't know what these things are doing, right? So what I want to see from you guys is, okay, so there's your silhouette. This is a better silhouette than that one, okay? Uh, you can do something like that. I can go over here, show, forget the curves, nerve curves, non-uniform rational B-splines. Don't ever need to remember that. Okay, so what you would do for me is you would hide this part. You would come in here like that. And then take a screen grab for now and say, here you go, Mr. Valley. This is my first pose kind of thing, okay? All right, so, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We haven't done any of these bad boys, have we? All right, let's do this. Nerve curves, and then yes, of course, I forgot. Look at that, that's looking so much better. That little tick over there, sweetness. Okay, so there, a little touch. Okay, so that's looking not bad. I'm not comfortable with the head at this point, but you can't really see it in silhouette. Okay, and then something like that, okay? So I'm gonna press six, bring the lights back. If you want, you can do it like this, and then you can go Command Shift 3, boom, the whole screen is done. And if you want, you can hide your nerve curves and take a shot like that, and you can take this one and say, lights, no lights. Okay, so that was really fast. I hope uh, you guys gotta keep doing this, okay? So if I go to 20 now, oh, hang on. Let me go to show NURB curves. What I like to do is select everything and press S. In the senior years, I will show you how to select these in grade 12 and then make your selection sets up here. Okay, we're running out of time this year and I apologize people. So look, uh, what do we got here? So I'm gonna go to frame 20. So look here and then boom, see? Here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, the next one I want you guys to do is one of these bad boys right here. Okay, it's really funny. Um, it's in my handout, got this from Animator Island, and these are really better poses, right? So I'm get, I want you guys to do this one and that one tomorrow. All right, bowing it out. Thank you. I hope you watch this. See ya. Okay, guys, I'm just going to say a couple more things because I think I rushed the last one. It seems like I'm rushing all the time here. However, um, there's a couple different philosophies of, uh, of animating to the camera. And you can say, I only want to tweak things that I see in the shot. That's a fair statement. There's two schools of thought on that. And there are schools of thought where um, the animator will say to me, my, my instructors would say, well, this doesn't make sense in this view. So a lot of game animators would have to make this rig work, for example, 360, right? It has to kind of like um, make it work. You have to make sure that all these angles work. So please take your time. And over here, what you don't see in my shot, I have that uh, camera right shoulder here, which is the left shoulder. It's a bit back, okay? So what I'll do here, and again, I can't see it there, so I'm just going to press 6. I'm just going to move it just a touch like that, okay? So there's even more of a perspective there, okay? So at the end, when you're, see, now that I rotated the shoulder, because this is all in forward kinematics, everything changes. So if I press uh, 6 here, I said six, nope, nothing's working. Eight, seven, yeah, okay, fair enough, all right. So I'm not liking the way this is looking. So, you know, what you do is you come around here and then you kind of work your way. You can say, okay, this arm can be bent a bit. Whoa, oh, sorry, wrong guy. I wanted the shoulder right there, okay, there. Now I can just go, boom, the shoulder control. And then, you know, like, that's not bad, bring it in. Okay, so I don't want these to be, they're, see they're not symmetrical. I push this a bit more. Maybe I could push this angle a bit more. So let's look over here. I'm going to 
press Q, I'm gonna hold this one, and then I press E to see what each one does for me. Okay, see, I'm even going, I'm pushing it even more than this shot here. Maybe it's too much, so what? Don't worry about it, okay? You're getting used to posing, right? Okay, back to six, seven, lights out, okay? Shaded mode, there's no shading and there's no light, okay? So there it is, I uh, look from the back, that's looking pretty cool, there's that nice curve. Uh, again, in this shot, you can't really tell what the head is doing, okay? Uh, and in this view, I'm looking down and to the to the left, right? Camera left. So let's go down a touch, okay? And then let's go to the left a touch, okay? So maybe I'll, I want I want a bit of chin and negative space here. I could do that. If I want to show more, maybe I can play with the neck here, okay? So let's see. Ah, look at that. It's giving me. So now I'm really playing in the camera, okay? So I'm giving more tangents. See here, uh, that's kind of cool because I had a bit of neck in there, so I played with the neck controller for the first time. Okay, so even though this is looking this way, that's not bad. I think I could rotate it, the head a bit more. There you go, and a, a touch down, okay? Uh, I encourage you to go on your own, and let's work on the 11 rig, the same, the same method, guys, and you'll see each time you're gonna get better and better. Uh, notice what I did here. I, I tweaked, I tweaked uh, the fingers a bit more so in this situation it's not looking that good so look here there I have that and um, I tried to bring this angle in so let me just clean this up for a second let's go over here I'm selecting on the other side okay so there that's not bad okay so I think I can tweak the the wrist a bit more like that okay not bad Okay, let's, for now, I think you get my point, okay? So just remember, just like when you're drawing characters, you don't make all this even. So let's let's have some tangents there and some negative space in between, like that. And I'm not really happy with the with the thumb here. So maybe that's even better, okay? Well, it's, it's a really weird rig for the thumb, okay? I can spend more time, but I think this is cool, all right? And I'm gonna really stop at this point and update my video, and you guys will see it accordingly. Okay, Command Shift 3 or Command Shift 4, you can do something like this. You can right across and you got yourself a frame or in snippet on Windows, you're good to go. All right, thank you. And this is uh, another four minutes on top of that video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.